first um, part of the event that we're hosting, the All Africa Senior Squash Championships. Um, we first had the team events um, where we had six countries and a total of 10 teams competing. So we had the 10 teams in two different pools. And um, we are now concluding with a team event. Um, we will we'll be having the, the final team event this afternoon at 2 o'clock, uh, after which we'll start with the individual event. The individual event is scheduled to have the final on Saturday, um, around maybe 5 o'clock in the, in the afternoon. Well, after the, the, the pool group of matches, um, we had the, two, two, the top two countries, then um, they went on to play in the playoff semi-finals. Um, the, the, so the four countries that played in the semi-finals were South Africa A, against South Africa B. Uh, the other semi-final we had Botswana against Zambia A. And um, so the top two teams that emerged from the semi-finals are South Africa A and Zambia A, who will be playing in the final at 2 o'clock this afternoon. For Namibian squash as a whole, um, this is a historic event. Uh, this is the first time that um, we're hosting a continental event. Um, and it will be also the, it will also feature the the junior event, which is also going to be a continental event uh, from the 28th of March until the 1st of February, until the 1st of April, sorry. Uh, in general, I think um, we've been able to then broadcast Namibian squash, not only continentally, but also globally, because um, the results and the features of this tournament are actually being broadcast on some of, our, of the squash international websites and uh, magazines and uh, as, as well as the TV shows. Well, let's be serious. Um, Namibia get actually two major open tour, uh, competitions throughout the year. Now, these uh, our opposition at the end of the day, the South Africans and the, the Zambians, are exposed to a hell of a lot more uh, competitions at that higher level. And Namibians squash players at the, at the moment, they've got all the attributes, all the ability but the exposure is seriously lacking at this particular stage. They play with the two tournaments, which are open tournaments uh, throughout the year. And if you look at the exposure that they get there, it's, and it's not enough. If you could move to having more international uh, competitions here, obviously our guys will then start performing a lot more. Guys are uh, playing in South Africa, Zambia. They play on a weekly basis, something that we play twice in a year. So obviously they're going to be exposed to a hell of a lot higher level of squash and we get exposed to it twice a year. At the end of the day, we're there, but we're not, not good enough at this particular stage.